clean the patient's saliva or blood in the mouth before scanning. Start scanning from the occlusion surface of the posterior teeth first. Keep the tip parallel to the teeth. A distance of 1 to 2 mm between the tip and the teeth is preferable. When scanning the anterior teeth area, both the incisal and lingual surface should be scanned simultaneously. You can refer to this method. When moving to scan the other side, keep the tip parallel to the teeth as before. After completing the occlusion surface, rotate the scanner and scan the lingual surface. After completing the lingual surface, rotate the scanner and scan the buccal surface. To facilitate scanning, you can move the scanner to the occlusion surface of the other side at this point. Then rotate the scanner and continue scanning the buccal side. Use the right mouse button to rotate the model and check if it has been scanned completely. If there is a need to rescan a certain area, place the tip on the area to be rescanned and scan it again. If it is in the anterior teeth area, it is recommended to place the scanner on the posterior teeth first, and then move to the area that needs to be rescanned after they have been recognized. The scanning method and sequence for the upper jaw is the same as that for the lower jaw. When scanning the proximal, you can use this method. The third part is a bite scan. This method can be used. Scanning can be done with slight upward and downward movements. It is also necessary to ensure that the patient's bite relationship is correct during scanning. And maintain the bite relationship unchanged. It is recommended to scan the bite relationship on both sides, left and right. Finally, the best way to become proficient is to practice more.